and you place your left shin behind the left wrist like so. And with this, externally rotate your left leg so your foot is closer as if we're gonna do pigeon pose. So you're gonna keep your left leg externally rotated. Look at the thigh. That's how you know it's externally rotated. Some people look at the foot and say, but I just brought the foot in. Yes, the foot is in, but the thigh is rotated outward. Now, pull your knee up to your elbow like you're doing plank pose and bring your foot up with you and back down. We'll do that on an exhale. So take a breath in. Exhale, knee up to the elbow and back down. Now let's try to go up to the tricep. Inhale, exhale, tricep, and back down. Try to go as high up to the armpit as possible, and back down. Okay, switch the sides. Right knee behind the wrist, then externally rotate the thigh. So first time, we're gonna just bring it up to the elbow and back down. So take a breath in. Exhale up to the elbow, keeping the external rotation will help you activate psoas and then back down. Keep your weight over your hands too, by the way. Inhale, up to the tricep. Back down, inhale. Try to get as high to the armpit as possible. And back down. So let's bring the left one forward now. Same idea in external rotation. Now we'll sustain the posture. So on the exhale, you'll bring it up as high as you can. And with it up as high as you can, you'll try to sustain it for three breaths. Okay, this is gonna be that psoas major activation. Of course, there's other muscles participating like the adductors will help you here uh, for sure. But our focus for today, psoas major. The back leg, press the ball mount of the back foot down and you'll be activating your psoas and hip flexors of the back thigh as well. Upper body, full rounded upper back, so flexion of the spine the best you can, right? Fingers are gripping the ground. Let's try it, here we go. Back leg straight and strong, press down through the ball mount of the back foot and together inhale. Exhale, pull it up to as high as you can. Holding this external rotation of the leg, breathing, trying to not rest the, the knee onto anything, you're trying to keep it lifted. If anything, just take it off of the tricep so that you're not resting. Okay, and then back down. Whoo, yes. Let's try the other side. Right knee behind the wrist. Externally rotate the thigh. Back leg straight and strong. You're gonna use your hip flexors or your back leg by pressing down through the ball mount of the back foot. Use your psoas major and of course adductors here and sartorius also is participating. Sartorius is a muscle of the hip that is an external rotator and a hip flexor. So it's basically like the psoas, except it never crosses to, over to the spine. It's, it attaches to the outer pelvis. Okay, so sartorius and psoas major are participating in this quite, quite a bit. Let's check it out. So I'll take a breath in. On the exhale, elevate, pull it up as high as you can. Reduce the temptation, or try to resist the temptation of placing the knee on the, the elbow. Bring it up as high as you can. Hip flexion, external rotation, spinal flexion. That's your psoas major. And release. <sighs> Hallelujah. 